scrimmage, or at times you'll see a 5-3 look with just one man up on the flank. The interior people that are very good for the Lobos on defense are tackle number 75, Scott Johnson, a 235-pound senior, and the other interior man is number 74, Troy Welker. The Rocky Mountain defense, though, is hampered by the loss of starting inside linebacker Scott Miller, and in his place we have number 63, uh, Scott Fries, who is a senior reserve player, is getting his chance here in the state playoffs for the first time this year. Well, that's good for him. He gets to especially make the playoffs with a team which came into the year looking like it might be suspect. Well, they certainly turned that around. Uh, what was interesting about the Lobos season, Adam, is that in preseason, their first three ball games, they had a one and two record before they entered front range league play. And interestingly enough, those three games were against three A teams out of the Northern League. On second down and two, Wayland Richards in motion to the left side, to the top of your screen, flags fly. And we have movement on the right side of the range view line, Adam, and that's gonna put him back five yards. And it would figure now the Raiders will have to go upstairs. That's for sure. Well, they're going to call this against the Lobos, John. They're going to take it the other way. Well, it certainly looked as if David stumped the tackle on the right side for Rangeview, jumped the gun, but uh, obviously the official saw it differently, and Rangeview gets a first down via the penalty. After a free first down, the Raiders come up. First down 10 from their own 45-yard line. The ball just short of the 45-yard line. Frank Hodge under center. Richards in motion to the top of your screen. To the left, the handoff to Ernest Williams around the left side. He'll pick up five. Ernest Williams, he accelerates so well that by the time you get to him, he's got four or five yards. Yeah, but making a nice defensive play for Rocky Mountain on that was inside linebacker Henry Van Sol, number 53, who cut through the gap and uh, really latched on Williams pretty well. And uh, where Ranger comes up now with a second and five. On second down, the ball just across the 50-yard line. Hodge, the quarterback. Oh, handoff to Jeff Warrendorf, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. And there again is linebacker Henry Vansel, who came on the blitz and arrived at the precise time that Frank Hodge handed the ball off to Jeff Warrendorf. And the good play by Vansel. Well, the Lobo defense is playing the same way their offense is. They are not psyched out at all by anything they may have heard about Rangeview. Nothing whatsoever, but the referees are talking to the Lobos right now. There must have been a flag over on the near side where the Lobos were standing because we didn't see it. And it's going to be a major. Let's see what they call with this one. All right. Clip. Penalty will spot the ball at the 33-yard line, Rangeview's 33-yard line. And now we'll see how the Raiders can handle that long yardage situation here on offense, and it certainly appears as if Frank Hodge is going to have to go upstairs. Well, I tell you, the few times that we've seen them on something in long, they've always broken one. Doug Patty's out wide right, but Hodge go will go deep for oh. Waylon Richards just off the reach, off of his outstretched fingers. Richards running a, fl a flag pattern to the outside. Richards he had beaten open. his man. Oh, yes, he had beaten him cleanly, and he was running free, but he had to turn. He had his, actually had his shoulders turned toward the inside of the field, and he had to turn back outside to try and attempt the ball. Hodge was a little bit off target on that, and that really led to the incomplete. Well, this will bring up third down and 20 yards. The double wide set left, right. Hodge comes back to pass, hands it off to Ernest Williams. They're going to stack him up. I think the Lobos were ready for that one. Yeah, they certainly were. Number 78, Troy Welker, was certainly ready for it. He's the man who made the initial contact on Williams behind the line of scrimmage on that draw play, which certainly slowed him up and up. Slowed him up <laughs> enough for the pursuit to get to him and drop him for yet a further loss. That's something they've been pretty successful with. Spread the defense, give the ball to Williams, he breaks a long one. The punt will come off to the right side. Deep is number 22, Greg Comer. Rocky Mountain quarterback Jay Gallagher has a bruised left hand. But it looks like he will return, though. It certainly he he looked he for is him coming off the sideline. He is. Yes, here he comes in. There he comes. All right, they'll bring up first down and 10 for the Lobos at their own 29-yard line. 
Six minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play on a beautiful Saturday afternoon at Aurora Public School Stadium for this first round Class 4A game. The handoff taken by number 46, Greg Hodson. He's going to be stopped cold. Yeah, Eric Page made the play on the right side of the range view defense. He his blocker and made the hit on Hodson right at the line of scrimmage. Good play by Eric Page. Pat Litzow comes out. Greg Comer comes in with the play from the sideline for the Lobos. I'll bring up second down. It'll with 10, 10, make it 11. 5.46 remaining in the first quarter. Jake Gallagher, the quarterback, hands off to number 46, Greg Hodson. He'll try the right side, but the Range U defense is where they are supposed to be. Well, Eric Page, the tackle on the right side, made the play on the initial uh, Rocky Mountain call this drive, and uh, the, the Lobos tried their right side, and Range U's left defensive tackle, Matt Pickett, got good penetration there and hit Hodson behind the line, and the Lobos are facing a third and 11. Gallagher's going to put the ball up. That's one thing he does extremely well. To the top of your screen, number seven, Pat Litzow. Litzow goes up to the top of your screen. Gallagher looks right. He's going to go deep. No one there, but the coverage was very good. Gallagher didn't look anybody off. He was going right constantly to Litzu. I'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down and 11. This time, the Ranger defense rises to the occasion. The Lobos move the ball nowhere for their second possession. With just under five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Deep for Rangeview, Jeff Orndoff, number 22, and number 90, Waylon Richards. Line drive kick. Going to be taken by Richards, who fumbles it, but he recovers it. He'll cover it at the, his own 40-yard line, where the Raiders will go on offense for the second time this afternoon. Well, Whalen certainly wasn't indecisive in going for that ball, Adam. No, he wasn't. The interesting thing is that uh, Coach Dean Steckling is not using Ernest Williams on uh, punt returns, which he has done for most of the year. That's where Ernest, I think, got hurt a couple of weeks ago. I think right. No, he did get hurt on a play from scrimmage. Okay, then I'm not right. <laughs> uh, I think maybe he's just going to uh, keep him off of those plays uh, to lessen the chance that he might aggravate that injury because it is still very tender. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Waylon Richards Ooh. with the handoff to Jeff Orndoff, but shooting through the gap. Number 78 for the Lobos, Troy, Troy Welker. Welker. Welker made the play on the Rangers' last call in their first possession, hitting Ernest Williams behind the line of scrimmage on the draw play on a simple handoff. Welker comes from his right side to hit Williams before he gets up ahead of steam running off of his right side. That'll bring up second down. And 14, the Raiders with their second possession of the first quarter. The score, nothing, nothing. Jeff Orndoff in motion to the top of your screen, to the left. Blitz. Yeah, the blitz came in. Ernest Williams picked it up really well. The pass intended for Waylon Richards up the left side. Pass falls incomplete. Williams picked up the blitz real well on that play. Yeah, Troy Welker was coming strong from the right side, and also the cornerback on that side was number 33, Jason Whitley. And uh, Hodge just simply did not have enough time to plant and set the ball. Williams Richards was open on the right side in front of the range view bench. He simply didn't have enough time to plant, set, and get the ball out to him. Richards is doing a very good job of beating the quarterback on the right side. And Hodge is going to him. They just haven't, haven't been able to make the connection yet. On third down, they'll try it again. Hodge with the option. He'll keep the ball himself. He'll turn it up the middle of the field. Close to the he first down. He will be very close. A good option run by Frank Hodge. And last week we saw that when Ernest Williams went out of the ball game at the end of the first half. Frank Hodge in the second half showed what he can do while running the option play. He was very effective in that game against Hinkley. And here you'll see it. Good fake to Orndoff. Good read. Slips a tackle. And runs very hard through two tacklers to get enough apparently for the first down some some say when ernest williams went out a couple of weeks a week ago that rangeview really pulled it up and that was the really turning point of the game <laughs> first down rangeview right they'll move the chains hodges run will spot the ball a couple of inches across the 50 yard line in lobo territory they've been able to get the ball across the 50 but the first drive